schön. Macht auch echt Spaß zum Fahren. Das glaube ich. <lacht> genau. Spaß. Dankeschön, tschüss. Hello again. Today with me the Royal Enfield Continental GT 650. I'm out here riding in the wine area around Stuttgart. And after I posted a photo of me with the Continental GT, I actually got so many questions about it and so much positive feedback about the way it looks that I decided to do a little video. So stay tuned and I'll let you know what I think about it. <laughs> I've been riding around all morning and I finally found a nice spot in the shade <laughs> because it's, I think it's the hottest day of the year and I'm riding around in the wine area around Stuttgart and here it is the Royal Enfield Continental GT 650 and what is kind of funny is that uh, most new bikes I ride are like they cost almost double of this bike so that's what makes it so interesting for me to review this one here because it's it's, it's very affordable and it's very pretty in my opinion it reminds a lot on the cafe racers of the 50s and 60s and i think they really got on point with this design why is it so affordable because it doesn't have a lot of electronics in it it has abs but that's, I think, pretty much it. And it doesn't have a lot of power too. It really is the Cafe Racer styling, not necessarily really a racer. But it is so much fun to ride. And what I really love about it is how accessible it is. It has a seat height of 793 millimeters and a narrow tank with 12.5 liters capacity. The turning radius is also very little which makes it so easy if you have to turn around at a narrow spot like for example at this tiny road where I am here. I actually have no idea where I am. I just kind of explored some back roads here. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here to be honest but who cares. <laughs> The suspension is rather soft, which I enjoyed on roads like this. I can imagine for longer trips that it um, might get a little uncomfortable on the seat, but I didn't test it on a, on a long trip, so I cannot 100% tell you about this. But other than that, for, for roads like this, it was very comfortable and that's actually what I mostly use it for. I have it for a couple weeks now and I used it way more than I expected because I have a other bike at home. So I thought, wow, two bikes, who uses two bikes? But I noticed that especially for running errands or going downtown, I prefer this over my S1000 just because it's uh, very nimble, so you could get through traffic very easily. It's uh, so easy to maneuver. It's not the lightest bike, but it, it just feels light. The narrow tires it also makes the handling very dynamic and very easy. So I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun and it definitely caught a lot of attention. I get looks when I stand on a traffic light or and uh, schön really think gehalten it's und ja bike in great shape <laughs> and I think that makes it so cool because people admire yeah. you for yeah. you know, assessing <laughs> something like that but then it's actually a new bike which just um, looks so classic so if you're looking for a bike to commute to sometimes take out 
for some back roads, um, use for downtown, running errands and stuff like that. And you like that classic design, this really might be an interesting bike for you because also what I should maybe mention is the warranty is extremely long, longer than some premium bike, which is crazy. <laughs> And then also because you don't have all these electronics it makes it easier um, for the maintenance or if you want to customize it and there's some things on a bike that I would love to put my hands on and customize myself and um, so that's also a very p positive point about it of course there's little things um, after some time riding it for example my my right hand got a little numb I don't know why it is maybe my body is weird um, but that I noticed and of course you you won't win a race with that if it's not maybe a smaller bike <laughs> or anything but it's it's so much fun and I have to say maybe my final thought um, riding 50 miles per hour on this one is way more fun than riding 50 miles per hour on an R1 for example so yeah think about that I'm, I'm very, very happy that I had this bike now for a couple weeks. Uh, I used it more than expected, even though it was my, the second bike I, I have at home. And I actually kind of used it more than the other one. The other one, of course, I used for riding on the German Autobahn. I wouldn't do that necessarily on this one. <laughs> um, but I had crazy a ton of fun. Let me know what do you think about this bike? Would it be for you or do you say you need more electronics, you need more power? Um, or do you like that idea of that pure riding? Um, yeah, leave me a comment. Leave a thumbs up if you like. And um, I hope to see you next time again. And I will ride some more now and enjoy the weather and hopefully not die from the heat. So. <laughs> Take care and I see you soon. Bye bye. And also before I take off, I'll give you a little sound check in the end. I always do this in the end so I don't annoy anyone around. <laughs> so.